Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here with part two of um, working with our FM pair oscillators in Thor. Uh, last time what I did was I set up most of these buttons. Um, we left out the oscillator one and two mix and the reverb uh, knobs, which I will get to. Uh, but for right now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create um, some different layers with this Thor. So the first thing we're going to do is on FM pair oscillator one, we're going to have this set to one and one. We're actually going to have this pair set to um, seven and seven, which I know is a little strange, but let's just keep that as seven and seven right now. And this pair, um, the pair that we're doing for oscillator two, we're actually going to set this to seven or s yes, we're going to set this to 7 and 7, or actually 7 and 14. That's what we're going to do. So it's going to become a multiple of itself. So when you click the double mod, that's going to be 14. And then the carrier for this is going to be the same. It's going to be 7 and 14. Okay. So now, 7 and 14, and that's 7 and 14. Okay, that's the way we want it. And this is going to be 1 and 1, and it's going to be 2 and 2. Okay, so that's the way we want it. Now what we're going to do, we're going to close up this Thor, we're going to have it selected, and we're going to create five more instances of it. So we're going to duplicate it five times. There's 1, 2, 3, Four, five. Okay. Now let's flip it over. Let's send all the channels, all the audio outs to the respective channels. Okay, so we've got six Thors going to six different channels. We're going to make sure that each of these is set to 80. Okay, so that we're not flipping out when we play it. Um, it's not going to overload things. And now go into the second oscillate or the second Thor. And in this Thor, we're going to send make this two and two on the carrier and mod, and we're going to make this eight and sixteen, which means that this is going to be eight here, and it's going to go up to sixteen afterwards. On the next one, this is going to be 3 and 9, okay, and so on and so forth. And the way we're going to set this up is inside the actual routing, okay? So you don't actually have to do it in the Thors. I'm just kind of showing you the way we're going to set it up. And over here, um, what I'll do is I'll set this one up and so you can see. So FM, so rotary 1 and rotary 1 is going to be both tied to the FM. Okay, where is that? Which is going to be the mod, that's right. Okay, rotary 3 is going to be our detune. So rotary 3 and rotary 3 is going to detune 1 and 2. So we're going to set this oscillator 1 to tune and oscillator 2 to tune. This is going to be minus 12 to 12. And this is going to be 12 to minus 12. Okay, and button, uh, let's see, the, we got that. The reverb we're going to do later. Um, the mod, the carrier. Okay, so button one is going to be our modulator and button two is going to be our carrier. Same thing, we've got to do two more instances, button one, button two. So the first one is going to be oscillator two modulator and this is going to be oscillator two carrier 
okay now the way we set it up down here is exactly the way we want to set it up up here so um, the first one is going to be set to 2 and this is going to be set to a multiple of 2 which is the next multiple up which is going to be 4 the carrier is the same way we're going to set it up to 2 and we're going to set this down to 4 now on the next set we're going to set this up to 8 and this is going to be a multiple of 8, the next multiple up, which is 16. Same thing here. This is going to be 8, and this is going to be 16. Okay? So you get the idea, and you can set the other two up as well. The idea is that each of these in succession throughout all of these is going to be set up. The first oscillator is going to be set up from 1 at the on the first Thor down to 6 on the last Thor. The second one is going to be set up from 7 on the first Thor, all the way down to, uh, what is it, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, down to 12. So it'll be 12 on the last Thor. And that's where we're going to set it up. And I will set this up right now, and then I will come back and show you the rest in a bit. And here I am again. And we're back, and basically uh, what I've done is I have each of these Thors all have the same settings, okay? Um, the only difference is that, like I said, each the first oscillator in each of them is set to, uh, let me just turn this off, they're initially set to 1 and 1, 7 and 7, then the next one down is going to be 2, 2 and 8, next one down is going to be 3 and 9, Next one down is going to be 4 and 10, all the way on down 5 and 11, and 6 and 12. And then what these buttons are programmed to do is to double up the modulation, so 2 and 14. Same thing, 4 and 16. It basically um, doubles it. And then this one will double the carrier so that they're all set equally now to 2, 14, 4, 16, all the way on down to 12 and 24 in the final Thor. Okay, so with that set up, next thing we're going to do is work on doing this mixer. Okay, this oscillator 1 and 2 mixer. And the way we're going to set that up, if you notice, there's no more uh, modulations that we can do for each of these Thors, so we're kind of maxed out. Okay, so the way to get around this, and this is a really good trick to learn, is to use a Thor. So we're going to hold down shift, we're going to create a Thor, and then inside the Thor I have a initialization that I use, um, which initializes the patch completely. Okay, Inside Thor we're going to use this to be the CV mix. Okay, And what we're going to do is, let's flip this around to the back, we've got six that we need to affect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also underneath here create a spider CV merger splitter and then I'm going to duplicate that and let's remove these we don't want these let's remove them okay so what we're going to do is we're going to send CV1 from the output of Thor into the split A then we're going to send split A into split B another split into split A this gives us six different uh, CVs that we can use so send one of the CVs to the CV1 in on the first one the first Thor. Then we're going to send it in to the CV on the second Thor. And it's going to help if we close all these up so we can see exactly what we're doing. Okay, and then just start sending all the splits out to CV1 on each of the Thors. Okay, so with that done, I'm going to set up just the first one and I'll show you how that's done. So we've got the basic Thor. We're going to take this. This is going to be um, what we're going to do. We're going to take the modifier, the rotary 1, and we're going to have that be 100% going to the CV output 1. Okay, So that means that anything that this is affecting is going to send to the CV output. Then on each of the Thors, what we're going to do is we're going to take CV in 1, 100% to the oscillator 1 and 2 balance. And the oscillator 1 and 2 balance is found in the mixing section, oscillator 1 and 2 balance, right there. I've already set this up for all of the Thors, okay? So basically, this is already done for you. 
And what that's going to do is that's going to free you up to use this Thor, which we'll call the Mix CV. You're going to see it up here under Mix CV. And now you can take this knob, which is Rotary 2, and you can send that to Rotary 1 on Thor, this knob here. So now when we use this knob, it's going to create CV that's then going to be sent through the spiders and down into the Thors and affect this mixer knob. Now make sure this mixer knob is set to zero for it to do its magic. Okay, so that's the way we do that. And uh, I will stop it here and in the next uh, tutorial I will show you how to add the reverb in very quickly. Alright, so thanks for watching. Again, I'm Rob at Reason101.net and stay tuned for part three. Thank you for watching.